All right, hey everybody, John here again with Empowered Strength and here with Kelly, she's gonna demonstrate how we're gonna do some carry variations with the sandbag. So we could start off of a, a bench, for example, if somebody has a more of a low back limitation and doesn't uh, have a lot of familiarity with picking things from the ground. So we're gonna have her um, basically straddle the bench and hug that sandbag in like this and just hold it in a more neutral kind of position here to start, just for example. I'm gonna squeeze that sandbag in. The bench could be even a little bit higher, for example, off of a box, something like that. She's gonna squeeze that in and stand up with it. Yep, and then she can start her carry from there. Um, another option is with a box here. So go ahead and sit down uh, on the box, actually. So here's our box. She can go from here, straddle the box or turn it lengthwise. Let's go from the side once, actually, too. Yeah, so there, middle of the box, just like our regular picks for our, our uh, lifts and other um, positions to squat like we've shown. So we're gonna go here. Yep, go ahead and bring it up. So her base position, she can clasp there, hold her arms around if she doesn't want, like she can get a lot of crushing position, she can get her core engaged, and now she can just go for a nice carry. Usually we don't want her shoulders too shrugged up, just like all of our other carry variations. We don't want her face all scrunched up like this. We wanna relax and bring our energy down, more core and nice neutral hips. So a nice kind of um, reminder of what to do or how to do uh, well with carries, go ahead and set it down for a second, <clears throat> is it should look nice and, and assertive posture. We don't wanna to be too much when we're carrying and just suffering through this carry, at least for restorative uh, kind of benefits and overall training effect. Occasionally we can do something really heavy and awkward, but that's gonna be um, probably something you wanna limit in your training. Generally should make you look real tall and, and good posture, should make good posture look kind of even better. Um, so let's show this from the ground, full, like a full pick what we can do as well, and um, also how she can carry it from different positions. We can do this carry in here, like a Husafel stone down in here, like a Zercher position here. Um, we can get some more biceps and pulling in here versus here in class, or she could shoulder the bag and then she's got some unique kind of core displacement going on there too, okay? So, yep, a little bit lower, yeah. So any variation could work in here. It's all unique with each bag too. So you can just go for a nice walk. Let's go lengthwise here, just for example. She can do a regular just walk. She can walk fast. She could walk in a marching position as well. I like marching, usually first slow marching, or she could just go in place if uh, we don't have a lot of space here. And we really wanna be assertive with our march. Look at that, when we're here, there's a lot of core integration, a lot of hip stability. Our body really has to react to that. So let's uh, pop it up to the shoulder if we can. If you need to go down into it, you can. If you're getting tired, uh, all good, yep. So bring that up to her shoulder right there. See, uniquely, that's really offset on her body. So again, not too heavy, that nice Goldilocks effect where she's just suffering through this and putting her body maybe in a bad position where we're gonna strain our neck, shoulder, anything down the chain too. But right here, that's a nice spot for her just to march, hang out there. You can obviously switch shoulders. Sometimes we'll have people go shouldering uh, the other side as an alternative um, halfway through their round of carries. Sometimes we'll do the whole round one side and obviously switch to the other to balance it up. Nice alternative, nice uh, training effect for somebody who wants to get good at shouldering and carrying and, and just lifting sandbags, stones, odd implements like that. So there you have it. There's some variations for carries we can do. Again, we're using a sandbag here. This could be done with natural stones, sandbags, any kind of odd implements around the house or yard that you might have. Uh, a heavy medicine ball can work, things like that. So there you go. There's some carry variations for you guys to try it.